So the first system call we're going to meet in this lesson is STAT. STAT examines a file's attributes. Basically, it reads the inode. The first argument is the name of the file that you want to examine. The second argument is a pointer to a STAT structure, which we'll look at in detail in a moment. STAT has a close relation called FSTAT, the main difference being that FSTAT takes an open file descriptor relating to the file that you want to examine rather than the name. Both of these routines return 0 on success and minus 1 on failure. But the real focus of interest here is the STAT structure because it's when we examine this that the whole thing explodes into complexity. Well, not complexity, but a lot of detail. So let's have a look at the STAT structure. It contains the inode number of the file, as we've already discussed. This field here, st underscore mode, uh, contains the access permissions on the file, the, the read, write and execute stuff, along with the file type, and we'll look at that in more detail later. This field contains a number of hard links to the file. I know that the idea of a file having more than one name does cause some confusion, um, so we'll, again, we'll look at that in a little bit more detail. These fields contain the ownership of the file, its owner and its group. This field contains the size of the file in bytes. These three fields contain the three timestamps that are maintained on a file. Let's just take a quick look at those. Uh, a time is the time that the file was last accessed. So, for example, making a copy of the file or looking at it with less or something like that uh, would update the access time. M time is the time of last modification. So if I appended some data to the file or edited it or something like that, that would update M time. C time is the time of the last status change. Basically, that means the time of the last change to the inode. So for example, if I change the access permissions or the ownership on a file, that would update C time. One of the things that surprised me for quite a long time uh, about Unix and Linux is that the file systems do not record the creation time of the file. 